David Wells to start his ninth game of the year. He's won four. In the air to left, Curtis. A couple of steps to his left, puts it away, one down. In the air, toward left again. Curtis over, Bernie Williams in. And Bernie will make the call and the catch, two down. Jammed on that one, tapped out to Knobloch. And he throws out Molitor. Wells backhand that one and toss out Cordova. First out of the twin second. Got it. Well, Wells gets back at one of the, in fact, the toughest hitter he has to deal with in the American League. And Coomer is down on strikes, two down. <laughs> You get the Beanie Baby as well today. There's a jam shot popped into foul territory. And Posada will make the grab. David Wells says breeze through the first two innings, retiring all six Minnesota Twins. There's a good curveball, and he got it. Got him. Fastball, belt high, strike three, and Valentin knew it. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Wells. He's retired eight in a row. Got it. With a changeup. The hand trick. Three strikeouts. Wells has struck out four in the first three innings. He has retired all nine Minnesota Twins. Perfect through three. Pop up to the infield. Jeter shades his eyes with the glove. And one out. It's getting brighter and brighter and brighter here in the Bronx. Here's that big curveball. Strikeout for Wells. That's his fifth of the ball game. He has now struck out four of the last five he's faced. Molitor, the Twins, and the Yankees surrounded by this big beanie baby phenomenon here today in the Bronx. Swung late, gets it high in the air to left. And another one, two, three inning for David Wells. I still think he's just now getting into the home run stroke. Just starting to come to him. It's a strike on the outside corner, and Wells gets Cordova. Six strikeouts, one out in the fifth. And I'll tell you what, the fans who are here, and it's a near-capacity crowd, have grabbed hold of this strikeout thing that Wells is building here this afternoon. He got it. Posada will have to make the throw. Martinez to the bag in time. The third strike got free, and... Thus, Posada had to make it official, but it's now seven strikeouts for Wells. Ground ball, Nabla. Makes the throw right on the money. Through five. Ball and two strikes on Shade. Swing and a miss. Well, foul tipped into the glove, and that's strike three. Well, that is strikeout number eight, and now it's 16 in a row. And the neat thing about this is the fans, and there's going to be over 50,000 of them here today, have sensed this, I think, from about the third inning, how Wells has been in command. But he struck out the side in the third. Third ball in there for call strike three. Good overhand curveball. Pitches popped in the air to center field. Coming on is Bernie Williams. He puts it away, and the Twins go one, two, three again here in the sixth inning. David Wells has been outstanding. 18 in a row have been retired. We mentioned he's batted everywhere in the order except seventh and ninth. Pitches hit high in the air to center field. Bernie Williams, one out here in the seventh. Here's the payoff pitch. Swung on. Tito Martinez will handle it. Steps on the bag, and Gates is retired. Two down here in the seventh. Fans on their feet here to the top of the seventh. Here's the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. Strikeout number 10 for David Wells. 21 in a row have been retired. They're on their feet already. They could be talking about some history made by David Wells. He has a perfect game through seven innings. Marty Cordova leads off 
the top of the eighth. Towards shortstop. A couple of hops. Jeter bobbles it for a moment to throw to Martinez in time. That is 22 in a row. Five outs away from a perfect game by David Wells. Toward Knobloch. He knocks it down. Recovers. Throws in time. 23 in a row. Knobloch knocks it down. Has time. Makes the accurate throw. And there's out number two here in the eighth inning. Joe Torre has not taken his hands out of that jacket pocket. I don't think Mel Stottlemyre has moved, nor Don Zimmer. Popped up, right side. Tino Martinez says he has it. And David Wells is perfect through eight innings. Crowd on their feet, 50,000 plus have seen a gem. Fans on their feet at the stadium as David Wells prepares to start the ninth inning. These fans have sensed a perfect game since the third inning when Wells struck out the side. The closest thing the Twins have had to a hit was a sharp ground ball by Ron Coomer. That Knobloch knocked down and threw out for the second out of the eighth inning. That David Cohn hiding. Popped up to short right field. Not blocked back. O'Neill in. O'Neill is there. And David Wells is two outs away from the perfect game. No movement. Billy Crystal picked a good day to come to the ballpark. Strikes the 11th strikeout, and David Wells is down to one more out for the 15th perfect game in Major League history. The first for a Yankee. Well, how nervous is Posada behind home plate? He's making the calls. Right field near the line. O'Neill appears to have room. He puts it away, and David Wells has pitched a perfect game. What a day to come to the ballpark. Almost 50,000 here. And from the third inning on, when David Wells struck out the side, I think, Kenny, that fans had a sense that something special was happening. Well, when I saw Dennis Martinez pitch his perfect game in 1991, I thought I'd never see another one. But I've been fortunate enough to see one at Dodger Stadium and now Yankee Stadium. David Cole wants David Wells to come back out for a curtain call. The fans are sticking around. Here he comes. David Wells back out of the dugout. The 15th regular season perfect game in Major League history. And the first ever at Yankee Stadium. What a day for it. What a wonderful crowd. Almost looks like the last stop of the World Series. No one ever has pitched a perfect game during the regular season at Yankee Stadium until today. May 17th, 1998. And David Wells is in the record books.